most valuable of all talents, that of never using two words where one will do. Thomas Jefferson said that, and Germans evidently took it to heart. The country that gives us pretzels and great beer also gives us a lot of really long words like... Weideinsamkeit. Okay, to be transparent, my German friend Agnes has graciously lent her voice so that we get these words right. Anyway, Waldeinsamkeit means the feeling you get while being alone in a forest. Back to why German words are so long. Germans piece nouns together to create words. When they need a new word, they just piece old words together. That creates some puzzling words like Schadenfreude. That means the feeling of getting pleasure from someone else's misfortune. The first part means harm, the second part means joy, so it literally translates to harm joy, or more practically, the smile you get when you see someone trip and fall. Bezirksschornsteinfegermeister is another example. That 30-letter word means the head chimney sweeper for a district. It might look intimidating, but if you know German, it breaks down easily. Bezirk means district. Schornstein means chimney. Feger means sweeper and Meister means master. So district chimney sweeper master or, you know, the guy in charge of cleaning your neighborhood's chimneys. It might be a bit long-winded, but compounding words is the German way. Maritza Giorgio, Newsy.